Hello, fellow adventurers! <laughs> Welcome back to the magical world of Hyrule from the critically acclaimed video game series The Legend of Zelda. This particular journey takes place in the iteration of Hyrule that is present in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. We are using the Zelda Reclaim the Wild system for this series. All of the details on the system are in the description down below. Welcome back and title card. <laughs> Last time we saw the Crimson Cranberries, they left Hatsuno Village, went to the Dueling Peak stable, played matchmaker, made their way up to Kakariko Village, only to find that the path was blocked by a large boulder. After encountering a Goron rescue team, <laughs> they discovered that the boulder was actually a stone talus. <laughs> so the stone talus rose from the ground, getting the jump on everybody. We have our initiative set, and now, combat begins. So the Talus is going to rear its arm back two large boulders and come down and take a swipe at you, Brody. Heads down! Ah! Okay, you can try. <laughs> All right, and then it's going to... Rock on rock action! Let's see. Well, the... <laughs> the Talus is a rock and he's a rock. Yeah. yeah. Basically. Rock on. Yeah. Um, yeah. It misses. <laughs> I roll over to the side. Yeah, so it goes. Too slow, Rocky Bro. And uh, its fist is currently, one of its fists is currently like down on the ground. Um, and that means, um, Rizzo, you are up. Goron Dodge. That was you. Yeah, it was me. All right, we got to get to the head. Go get it, bro. All right, so the hands down. So I feel like it's... So it's currently like the fist is in the ground. So it's like, if, if you're looking at the top of it, because stone taluses are pretty flat on top. It's kind of pitched a little forward, maybe in like a 15, 20 degree angle. Now's a chance. Aim for the head. And I'm going to use my amazing agility and speed as a Sheikah to jump on the arm to attempt to crawl, not crawl, okay. but run up to its head. Uh, make an agility crawl. for me. <laughs> okay. This is good for me. Uh, 11. 11. You make it. Okay. Um, wow. Go, Rizzo. So you make it up. Uh, you are standing I'm fast as heck, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you are standing next to the ore brain okay. of the of the stone town. It's time. And then I'm going to Rizzo special. I'm going to get out good. <laughs> While you're up there. Shh. 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 One of my bombs. Okay. And then just... Put it up, uh, like stick it wherever I can. It's gonna stay. Um, you have sticky bombs? I, I don't. Would I be able to like stick it somewhere in like some kind of? You gently lodge it in between a, cra a crevice in the in the ore <laughs> so that you don't go go bang them and blow yourself okay. up. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna backflip off of it, and then okay, as I land, right agility. Um, uh, what what do you want to do? Oh, I want to backflip, and as I do, like do a pirouette and somersault as it explodes. And I'm gonna land facing away from it. Okay, do, now give nice. me a silly Ah, nice. Okay. Okay. Look, soldier in the background. That's oh nice. my god, that's a 17. It's almost oh, a Oh, you <laughs> land it perfectly. <laughs> it's anime moment. Wow. You flip backwards, <laughs> and we get a slow-mo shot of your nice, leg. Bro. Your leg's going... <sighs> boom! Sh like shards of the bomb, shrapnel <laughs> shooting around you, whizzing past your face, and you land on the ground full, like, Iron Man. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rizzo Man. <laughs> and then we get uh, three shots of the bomb blowing up. Yes. <laughs> Only one bomb's worth of damage. How much do your bombs yes, do? Yes, the bombs do eight damage. Eight damage? Okay. I don't, have to, to roll, don't have to roll. Yeah. Yeah. The bombs don't have to roll in here. Um, oh, you know what? That probably was as good. I took it down, but it was cooler. Sweet. And I'll turn around. Okay. My cloak of Bill in the Wind. Okay. Ten points yeah, for style. Yeah, scarf Bill in the Wind. <laughs> Ten points for style. All right. Yeah. Um, so uh, you hit the talus. Uh, the bomb staggers it back a little bit, so its arms are in the air, but it is staggered okay. currently. Um, not that, that like not in a status condition way, just like in a that's what it's doing is its arms are up, so mm -hmm. it no longer has like a pathway for you to walk up. Mm -hmm. um, so next, Brody, your turn. Oh, uh, bro. Well, bro, um, I'm going to try to, like, you know, kind of speedball. Like, you know, I'm going to kind of 
Sonic Roll. Sonic like, Roll charge <laughs> up. Oh my god. Ron I'm trying to spring myself <laughs> and then spring myself forward so that I can punch, like air punch its brain. Okay, so um, conveniently, uh, when the talus hit the ground, it made uh, some rocks around it go and there's a ramp, perfect ramp nice. for you. Nice. Um, you go start up the ramp and then um, you midair. Uh, I want you to roll uh, for your attack. Okay. <laughs> it's Brody time. It's Brody time. Yeah. Whoa, that's pretty good. That's going to be an 18 to hit. Oh, yeah. that's a hit, buddy. Nine damage as the, my rock hard fist punches <laughs> into its rock hard brain. All right, you hit it, and uh, you see some pieces go, um, and uh, a piece of amber uh, flies off. And um, uh, so amber is uh, in, in the shape. It's a crafting material. <laughs> it's in the shape of a blade almost, um, and it flies off and goes and sticks in the ground um, off in the uh, off in the distance. Nice so, job, bro. Um, Thanks, bro. Are you going to be? Uh, um, you used your movement to get up onto the, the talus's head. Um, okay, so you are on the talus's head currently. That's cool. Um, and you said you did nine damage? Nine damage. Great. Um, so, uh, next we've got Bella. That's me! Okay, sweet. So I'm kind of seeing, I'm trying to, I'm aiming my little sticks. I'm trying to like dodge uh, Brody and um, because I don't want to hit them. So I'm like, uh, watch this! Uh, and I'm gonna shoot off a um, <clears throat> my magic salvo, so it kind of looks like a kind of swirling red magical light. It kind of okay. like sparkles, and I aim it right towards the the head. All right. So um, well, I will say um, because it's been staggered not once but twice, it is leaning back. So you'll have to come around either side a little yeah, bit to I'm be able gonna, to get a good. I'll angle. do that then. Okay. Um, Excellent. Where do you want to go uh, in terms of like go, if, if you got I'll your go clock? To the, I'll go you're at noon. To, <laughs> to three o'clock. Okay, great. Um, way around. You have uh, you have a good shot from there. Um, uh, how much does your magic salvo do? Because it's a spell. Oh, I gotta so roll a hit, right? Uh, spells hit automatically. Oh, spells hit automatically. No, great. no, your magic salvo is your basic attack. You like, oh, is that yeah, basic? Yeah, 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 excuse me, yeah, sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah, I forgot. Uh, no, it's fine. It's, <laughs> it says magic salvo. You think it's yeah, a you would think attack. it's a spell, but yeah. seventeen to hit. It's a seventeen hit that hits. Yes, it goes. She says, red swirling light. Bow. And does twelve damage. Wow. Beefy. Ah! <laughs> you see me go. Good work, Bella. So she learned that from us. Thank you. Yeah, I think That's so. not true. All right, so you hit it, and it goes sideways. It's been falling. It is on one leg, and then it falls thunk, with its uh, feet facing towards um, you two, uh, Oakley and Rizzo. Um, because you're standing in the original positions you started in. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm on top, right? Uh, you are on top. Can you make a, uh, an athletics roll for me? Um, well, I think I did pretty good because that's going to be a 14. All right, you managed to you managed to, to land um, because of the the surprise. Um, you don't like do anything cool. You just kind of land. You're like, whoa! Um, but cool. uh, but you manage to land. You don't take any damage. Okay. Um, bro, did you see that? That was so cool, little bro. Uh, Bella, ah. as it falls, its arms go thunk to its sides. So I want you to make an evasion roll for me. Oh no! Oh, oh no! I think evasion is you. Oh, that is. Yeah, yeah. you rolled to hit uh, Bella. So I'm gonna be rolling to hit. It's my evasion is 15. Mm -hmm. Get out of the way, baby. Um, unfortunately, it does hit. Oh, no, I was so distracted by me telling Brody, look, what a cool job I did. He goes, <laughs> boom. Ah um, and then, um, uh, how much health do you have? 20. 20? Uh, you take 10. <laughs> oh, no. This thing's pretty, oh, pretty, no. pretty thick. Uh, <laughs> and you are currently, <laughs> oh, you are no, currently uh, splayed. You are knocked prone. Uh, knocked prone means <laughs> you can't your use evasion for uh, for spay life. So a million attacks on back to hit you essentially. Yeah. So you got to get up before you can um, before you can do stuff again. Um, oh. So the the talus is currently on the ground. Mm -hmm. um, Oakley, it is your turn. Come on, Oakley. Oh, great. Uh, I'm going to run over in front of Bella, mm -hmm. and then from there, like, where's my angle on the 
the head of this thing, the brain of this thing. So you'd have to go a little further to get um, an angle. So so essentially, like, um, you guys started here. We'll go back to the clock analogy because it's a little easier to understand. You guys started at 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. It fell. It is currently um, the, the ore brain is facing 6 o'clock. If you're over at okay. three, you have to come a little bit further around to be able to see that. Is there uh, like a ravine wall, um, perhaps that a spell could bounce off of that I could stay here and shoot? Do, do your spells bounce? Yes, they do. Oh, oh well, you are in a ravine. I so. love oh, nice. but yeah, it always comes back. So yeah, it always comes back. Are you going to use your boomerang? Or no, you gonna use I'm going to use this spell. Uh, okay. So I put my body, I plant my body in front of Bella's. <laughs> I summon some some water, the opposite of her magic, and it spirals out, and it uh, it's a splash of magic, and it uh, bounces off of the wall. What? Is that a lore shade? What? You like? Uh, I like. Okay. Ky- Kyamaran splash. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't make like muddy water. No, I'm saying that you I said, wa- you said of- the water the opposite of. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm fire. I'm I've fire. seen that that was a lore drop. That's it's all sure. I mean. Well, yeah. <laughs> you saw what happened at the beginning of the last episode. Okay, so um, the water swirls around you, yes. and you send it back Jet behind stream you at the wall, or ravine, and the calculated angle ricochets off of the wall yes. and uh, flies over and hits the stone talus's ore brain square on. Um, you look really cool doing nice. it. Um, <laughs> how much damage does that do? Nice. Uh, ten. Ten damage? Mm-hmm. Cool. Nice. Mm-hmm. Splish splash. Splish splash. All right. Um, so that does bring us back to the talus. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, so the talus is going to go ahead and and pull its arms back together again, and it's going to lift back up. Um, uh, uh, you're next to it still. Um, Brody, I will give you the opportunity to try to grab on and hold on to it as a reaction. Oh, yeah, totally. Athletics. Uh, that's going to be a nine. Fortunately, it's not quite enough. You grab, you don't no. get any purchase, and you slide down the rock, <laughs> but the talus Bro. stands back up. Um, Brother. <laughs> it stands back up, and then, uh, let's see, um, Rizzo, you're still in front of it, yeah. so it's uh, just like, it's got, it got, it's, uh, got you in its sights, because it knows <laughs> what you did to it. Um, so it's gonna... I know what you like um, <laughs> It is going to uh, use Boulder Bombard, and throw its arm. Ah! At you. <laughs> it's all. Um, so... Five, man. Later, use my... That one is actually um, one of its skills, okay. which means that is going to hit. Is that correct? No, is it, it is correct. Yes. Yeah. yeah so is this correct. is a skill. Yeah, it's yeah, going to technique. hit. Um, it is going to do 13 damage. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Five it, um, to the face. <laughs> it hits you, and you just go, th- uh-huh. and then just like rolls over Ow. the top of you. Oh jeez. That's worse than training. How are you looking? Great. It's your HP. Wait, what was it? Is it so much? 13. Oh, I have seven HP left. You have seven. Okay. okay. Cool. Um, so yeah, that does uh, that does thirteen damage. Um, none of you are around it, otherwise it would have like an AOE um, that that has like a blasting effect when it hits. Um, Get away! And then uh, it is currently one arm down, but it still has its other one. Uh, it used its right arm to be able to hit you, mm. so it still has its left arm attached. Mm-hmm. And now, Rizzo, uh, your turn. Okay, so as a free, I need you to do, as a free action, I need you, I'm gonna try to sneak, so agility versus perception. So how, okay, what is how things perception? Is it very, does it perceive a lot? Do, do they have eyes? Um, they don't, but they have, okay. Um, I have to contest it? Yes. Okay. So versus What did my, you get? Okay, total is 12. Uh, it does not. It is. It does not track you fast enough. Okay, so I'm just like I recover from like in the dust. Through the dust settles, I'm already gone. I'm like, oh, Ooh, love that! I love <laughs> that. <laughs> I feel like I saw like the sideways like animated. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I love that. That was great. Uh, so then, will I be able to? Uh, can I climb up the arm, or is it? Um, the other arm is currently at its side. Okay, so that's okay. I don't, I don't need it because I'm gonna use Mifa's vault. Uh, to use oh. auto movement speed uh, as horizontal with jump. So I'm gonna okay. get, it, get up to its base and, <laughs> and just <laughs> I don't even know how it works. Nice. Nice. Like, I'll just do some uh, some techniques, you know, like like at the ground and sort of propel me up. Yeah, so, like, it's similar to the um, the um, 
the Yigo like earthquake. Oh thing, yeah, where they mm-hmm. shoot like the it, jet of air. Yeah, out of the yeah. Ground. And so it opens up a little vent and wow. shoots me up, and, it's, and I'm just like, I don't get fly. Start and flapping uh, in the wind. And then as I do Go that, through. I can do an attack. Um, Okay. It's an extra strong attack because he uses a bunch of my stamina to do his ability. Now, is this attack just a regular attack? Oh my god, it's, it's a technique, yeah, so I hit automatically. You do. Right? Okay. I think all techniques and spell do because they cost mm-hmm. a stamina or um, magic points. Does it automatically allow you to land exactly where you want it to? Or no, is that so the whole thing to, is like, that. Because you're up in the air, so yes. my thought is, is I'm going to need you to at least roll for, like, um, is there acrobatics in this? So. Uh, that be agility. Agility. Yeah, agility. 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 Uh, so, so it is. So you then land on a square of your choice adjacent to your target. Oh, it is a square of your choice. Okay, yeah. yeah. So I can land wherever um, I want. So go ahead and land. Uh, well, for, I get to do an attack in the air. Yes. So it's like as I fly up and then I, I in slow motion I'm like at the peak of my jump. The and I get up my jump. bat and then <clears throat> hit it in the head. Cool. Well, I mean, wherever. And I then head. where are you going to land? Where am I going to land? Yes. Um, I'm pretty hurt, so. It, is there anywhere I can land that's higher up? Higher up? Unfortunately not. The ravine walls are really tall. Okay, well, I will land... Uh, I don't want us to be together, so... Oh, and next to Brody, because I have an idea also. Okay, and Brody, you are still behind the talus at about uh, 7 o'clock? <laughs> right. <laughs> Correct. So that's going to be 18 points of damage, by the way. Oh, boy. Yeah, that, it's, it takes a lot. Mm-hmm. It's 12 yeah. stamina, so it's like one of the biggest mm-hmm. attacks. Oh, gotcha. Okay, um, you said 18? Yes. Okay, hold on. Math. That was a good hit. Yeah, she's... I'm just like watching you from the ground like, that was cool. Rizzo's got this. I was born for this. I think I did the math right. Hold okay. On. You can keep bantering. Okay. I'm going to do my math. Uh, I'm going to land next to you. Are you like prone? No. No, he's up. Okay. No, I'm up. Bro. Bro. We got this. We got this, bro. And, then, and I'm going to take my, and I'm going to take an, eli- an elixir out. I'm going to smash it against your head as my minor action. Minor action's on your turn. Still. Yeah. It's my turn next it's, Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Okay. okay. Uh, smash yeah. it on your ah. head. Ah. And ah. you'll be healed. Thank how much? Uh, five. Hit points. Actually, that's wow. Awesome. That's, that's really awesome. helpful. Oh, nice. I made him also like a. That's right, I forgot you could do that. Yeah. Uh, I'm not done yet, though. Sorry. Because that was I was sneaking, uh, I could do a free social combat maneuver, so I'm going to go ahead with my bro action. She got I, will, fu- I will give you a free. Uh, really cool! Skill. I will give you, uh, <laughs> I'm going to do coordinate. Super cool! Uh, which gives you knack versus this target, so you have advantage of <laughs> attack. What was the time stamp on that, Becca? 1830. 1830, okay. What happens? Uh, We'll just throw in a little bleep. (laughs) Yeah, but, oh, okay, okay. Let's throw in a little yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, so you now have knack on your next attack versus target. You have advantage. Nice. Yeah. Okay, well. uh, Get him, bro. Finish this. I'm going to pick up. Is there, like, a big piece of the talus's rock anywhere laying around? Um, there's not a piece still? of the Talus's rock, but there are pieces of the rock from when they were, like, when the rescue team was tearing up the uh, boulders surrounding it. Because, like, when the Talus fell from the cliff above, it landed and knocked some yeah. of the rocks down. So there's still some, there's some scattered So debris. I'm going to take a big rock. Okay. And I'm going to pick it up over my head. And I'm going to throw it as a projectile straight at the other... Yeah, it's brain. Is that a draw sauce? <laughs> draw sauce. Nice. Oh, nice. That's going to be a total of... You have max. That he now skipped in. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a total of 15 to hit. Nice. It manages to hit. And yeah! five damage as the rock explodes all over the other rock. Like five damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. It was very flashy. It didn't do a lot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, it's it it something, though. It did some damage. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, Your potion's great for minor actions, but not. Mm-hmm. So not the uh, talus is, uh, the, the ore brain of the talus is starting to look pretty rough. Um, it's it's pretty, pretty chipped, shattered. Um, as you hit it, uh, another... Um, Another gem flies off. This time it is uh, a piece of topaz. Um, also in the shape of a blade, it goes. Thuk. All right, uh, roll, roll a, roll a catch. Oh, is it a thing? To catch it. What do I? Oh, actually, it's pretty good. Uh, it's, what am I using? Is it my agility? I assume. Um. Yeah, because that's like a, a. I don't think there's accuracy. Roll accuracy. Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, seven, twelve. 
Okay. Uh, you managed to catch it, but it is pretty sharp, so you take one damage. Yeah. <laughs> I put it in one of my secret pouches. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so to- the topaz is infused with the power of electricity. Oh. Um, oh, so what? if you choose to use it for something, then you can use it to. Okay. Um, well, we can decide who can. Who can use it we can figure that out later. Yeah, but I uh, just wanted to let you know, topaz is imbued with uh, the energy of electricity. Who's keeping track of our blue? I got it. All right. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Note Hopefully. taker over here. How am I doing? <laughs> Trying I again. I doing right. Fell off the wagon for a little bit. Okay, yeah. um, Brody, you're all finished. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, Bella, it is your turn. How again. do I stand up? Seriously, that one. How do yeah. I stand up? You are the nicest Um, so you I'm are going to use your movement yeah. standing up. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be there. <laughs> yeah, I stand up. <laughs> you're a hero, Bella. Get up again, Keep Bella. Working at it. You hit me. Yep. And I didn't say sorry. We get... ah! And, and then... you hear say that, and it just kind of goes. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any noise. You just hear the grinding of stone as it kind of looks at you just a little bit. Okay, well, I'm about to make. I, I, I'm gonna get makeup. I'm gonna get mess it up. Okay, okay. So, um, uh, as I'm kind of like screaming a little bit, uh, you start to see in my hands. I'm like, ah! and you start to see four. Uh, bombos kind of appear oh. two and two Ooh. in my hands. I'm like, ah! Uh, bombos. Okay, so where I'm standing, uh, and I'm as, and what you're gonna gonna see is um, these bombos are kind of, you know, they're glistening, but you see a quick like um, golden light and en- encapsulate them. Because uh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna use my Hylian spell bonus, uh, which means oh. I only use half half cost for my MP. So I'm gonna take a nice. money. Oh, it's amazing. Yes, I want to use all four of them. Amazing. Um, so, is this 21 damage, but each each Bombo is 21, or is it 20? I think Bombo's just an AoE attack that is 21 <laughs> Okay, that's kind of what I thought. We'll look at it later, but So I'm going to throw all of them at the at the brain. Okay. Them. Ah, that's a lot of try damage. catch with this! Ah. Strong baby. How do you want to finish this talus? <gasps> Whoa! Yes. Bombos for the win! Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these the Bombos, and I'm mm-hmm. going to kind of like... Do like a little pitcher swing. Wow! Wow! Yeah! That's a whole hit. How big is the AOE? Okay. Um. Did you say burst or four? T- uh, twelve squares. Twelve squares. So each, yeah. That's big. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a, a huge explosion. It's a huge that explosion. That's a big explosion. Like, like to the past, use it and they, you know, like this. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, uh, and also, yeah, his remains are also just on fire because that's part of the. <laughs> Um, uh, I'm an elemental by? specialist. Who's mm-hmm. still close by? Were you still close? I got a little bit farther away so that I could... I was wherever he was. We were yeah. Brody's Brodebro. Okay. I was probably close enough, though, to get hit. If you're right next to each other, then yeah. um, I'm going to have to make you guys... Um, does does the attack have an evasion stat on it immediately? Or... Uh, it automatically hits their action. Yeah, it spells, always, it spells and techniques always hit it. Plus eight to hit. But the effects are separate, right? Oh, I didn't roll or a hit, not. though. You no, it's all automatically Spells hit. automatically hit. That's Spells right. techniques automatically hit. Damage process. Um, do you want us to just do... Go ahead and just make like a agility an agility, agility um, or athletics for you, Brody. Yeah, that's makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if this is what I have. Plus, so maybe it's called Bombos. 12. For like half damage, I don't know. What about you, Brody? 13. 13? Okay. Um, you're definitely... I'm, I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> But oh, you're 21. 21. Half would be 10, 11, I guess. And what do you have? Are you at 11? Uh, no, because I got healed. I got I'm at oh, 14. Uh, 14. I'm at 12. I'm at 12, actually. Okay, so you're one. That's, okay, that's what yeah. I was going to put you at anyway. Well, can you make the sound effect with like, the low hearts? <laughs> uh, <laughs> which one are we talking about? Are we talking about Ocarina of Time? Because that's a really annoying, like, beep, beep. Yeah. Am I taking <laughs> half damage? Um, I uh, I believe so. Yes. What was okay, that? Okay, so then I'm gonna my defense takes from the eleven. It's gonna be eight. Oh, I forgot after about that. The, I didn't. Yeah. Something like you get three damage. Oh, you okay. subtract the defense. Yeah, defense. Oh, you, so I like, didn't we, subdue that before. Yeah, we never have done that. We it's it's dead. dead. It's fine. It's kind of back in. Points, actually, yeah, it's like, fine. We're still it. learning the system. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell. Reclaim. Yep. Yep. Got it. I will say for what it's worth, I didn't look it up. It's on the rolls that hit. Target's concentration, cool. not a success. They're on fire. They're not automatically on fire, so that's good. Well, that yeah, because he's because he's dead. The little rock. So the fire only happens. So you guys yeah. have to roll concentration to see if you're on fire. Oh okay. 
Wait, does it say verse concentration? What does it say? No, wait. Roll to hit targets concentration on success, targets on fire. So that would be oh, your... so you have to roll. That's to hit for the them. effect, yeah. That's because, oh, sorry, I, I feel like I'm not thinking left. too deeply about the other people around, oh, okay, so fine. I feel like I would. So, probably... Bella, you have to roll to hit then. Yeah. So, because the talus is dead, roll... there's there's flames scattered around. I mean, it's fire Concent... stone, wait, so it can't catch no, on fire. Their concentration. I'm rolling to hit your concentration. With right? your what? Yeah, which I have. So, just go ahead and roll. Yeah, yes. probably. Plus any bonuses? Uh, I assume it's either going to be. Probably... What's your to hit bonus? Uh, plus eight. Okay. Nice. Uh, it happens. Oh, actually, four. Well, four plus eight. Twelve. That hits Twelve. Both of those, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, it does hit both of them. So you got to work on fire. Ah! <laughs> I was hoping. Yeah, you are currently on fire, and you have like one HP. Um, ah! All right. And uh, I'm just like full tantrum raging. Bro, ah! stop. Rock and roll. Oh, you can do that. Try. You can act in the in. Uh, there's actually stop up and roll as a thing. You can do it yep. as an action. Yeah. Okay. okay so. Ah! Um, so this whole chaos is ensuing. Um, Bella, you manage to absolutely obliterate this talus. <laughs> it, um, it starts to rumble and rumble, and then <clears throat> it just shatters into pieces. Thankfully, it, all the pieces manage to like fly past you. You don't get hit by any shrapnel. You're too busy being on fire. Um, <laughs> but uh, with that, the uh, stone talus is dead. I did it. Go, little bro. He did it. <clears throat> nice job, Good team. Good magic, Bella. Ah! Take a few deep breaths to come back out of the combat ah! mode. Ah! Slow ones. Ah! Take a breath. Tummy breaths. Um, Saito <laughs> and his crew uh, peek out from behind mm-hmm. the, the bend in the ravine. Come on out. Wow. You guys are amazing. Oh, you guys are a little crispy. Yeah, you know, I'm I mean, I'm, I'm, it's, yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm gonna get down on Bella's level. But Bella. Yeah? Your magic. Super strong. You should be proud of that. Thank you. You took that out in one hit. Yeah. With Bombos. Yeah. With breasts. Thank you. But uh-huh. you also caught us on fire. Yeah. Well, your teammates huh. get a watch. Okay. Who you shoot, okay? <laughs> High five. Nice job. Nice. All the other Gorons come back over. Yeah, high five! And they all give you high fives again. <laughs> <laughs> good, good game, good game, good game, good game. And then they come over to you and. Did you see me? Did you see me? Yes. Well, how is it still sticky after you did fire magic? <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Um, hands, always. <laughs> all right, you did it. You defeated the stone talus in the pathway Good job, to team. Bro, 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 bro. Do you need um, to the... be healed? Because I can yeah, how's heal everybody you. Doing? Yeah, I could get something going. Here, I'm sorry. And I go up to you, and I'm gonna cast. Um... Which one? Uh, actually, I'm gonna do a uh, great fairy's light because I can do it up to four targets. Oh, you can off. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. Nice. I'm sorry. Pee. And tiny little <laughs> red fairy magic, uh, little tiny fairies with their little wings are gonna go to each of us. Okay. Um, I'm okay with you for six. Hey. Oh, really? It doesn't make any stronger or weaker. Oh, okay, great. Okay. Your AOE uh, heal is stronger than your single target heal, or just does it not work the same way or work the way where like it's like if you only use it on one target you can stack or is it? Up I don't think so. Oh, yeah, that was more okay. particular. Okay, so I'll do eat everybody. Get, you get everybody gets three hit points. Okay. Rizzo and Brody, you get three. Okay. I'll nice. Get I'm back to full. Hit three. Points. Are you back to full health? Yeah. I am. Yeah. Well. Are, are you, Rizzo, full health? No, but I'm good. But I'm saying I can get. Uh, but I'll just do the final magic for myself. Oh, you're doing four. You can do because um, Oakley was fine. Oh, she so can do four. That's awesome. Yeah, it's great. Whatever. <clears throat> do it. I'll do it on myself. Okay. So you get three new. Yep. So I'll be okay. back. Oh, side note. Here's a clear your problem for you. Yeah, it looks like I, you did I just about sorry. that. Thanks a lot, bro. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, bro. Yeah, bro. Hey, if I ever see you around on the road, maybe we can hang out sometime. We can, uh... Love juice party. Duh. I'm not trying to make you do free labor. I'll buy all the ingredients, but, like, I'd love to have some of your cooking again. <laughs> Anytime, bro. Always a pleasure, bro. Nice, bro. <laughs> 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 That's amazing. Um, well, I guess our work here is done. 
Come on, boys. You're welcome. I really imagine. Okay, they roll down, they roll down, it's just me. Down. When I was throwing those bombos, I really imagined the like little Elmo meme of like still. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 that's what I had in my brain. Like that was just like. That is amazing. That's absolutely what was happening. Yeah. That's what was happening. Okay, so um, Saito. I was gonna say, Brody, where'd you get the those those concoctions they used on Rizzo? Oh, cooked them up, right? Cooked them up. Oh, okay. So we can make those on the road. Should we? I was gonna say, should we buy some before we travel? I mean, sure. Or we can make some. Okay. Anytime. Need some ingredients. Great. We can find those. Yeah, just keep an eye. Keep an eye out for the ingredients we need, which are and so on. Uh huh. <laughs> Got it. Um, our insert ingredients here. So, uh, Saito and, uh, and his Goron rescue team, um, Saito comes over to you, Brody, um, gives you, like, grabs you on the, on the wrist, like, you guys, uh, lock hands, he pulls you close, and he says, Hey, if you ever come back to Goron, uh, Goron Village, Goron City, come see me. I miss you, man. Anytime, bro. It's really nice to see you. Good to see you, bro. And they, Said, oh but, all right, boys, we're out. And then all the all the Gorons go. Gorons roll yes, down. And they, they roll, roll. They roll down. And they go. Yeah. And all the way yeah. I love it. And that. you just hear them going, bro. <laughs> Those are some just good echo. Bro. Yeah. 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 They were the good ones. They were. Yeah. Still want to hear about the bad ones. Whatever happened to that shiny thing that went flying in the car? Oh, back? I got one here. And I put the other one, too, using my... Um, yeah, you see the uh, you see the piece of amber that's yeah. stuck in the ground, um, and you take it. We can use these as weapons, atta- attaching to our weapons, or use use them for other effects. This one um, has lighting properties, and this one has it's just sharp. It's just sharp. Properties. <laughs> oh, I can make a stabberang. The stabberang. The stabberang. That's true. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, great. So, um, do you are you going to be the 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 a bag of holding. Oh, yeah, I guess your pockets. <laughs> because you got all the pockets. Yeah. <laughs> pocket By the end of the campaign, that. Rizzo's right. just going to be all pockets. I love it. So can we affix these to our weapons it. or use them individually, or what do you think? Um, Probably won't need to worry about that right now, okay, okay, but fine, um, no that'll be something that you'll do at a rest. Okay. Um, it's like, oh, I'm going to prep my weapon. Um, that item that you attach will last um, for a little while, but it does have a durability to it. So, and I don't know, break. Sure it does. Yeah. I'm sure it does. Well, I'm not going to give you a permanent bug. <laughs> <button, laughs> um, so, you know. Damn durability. <laughs> if you're like me, you'll suffer from too good to use syndrome and never use mm-hmm. a single one of them. But Oh um, my gosh, yeah. Uh, okay, so you have the path cleared. You have achieved your goal of uh, making it to Kakariko Village. You haven't quite entered the village yet. Your um, the boulder fell about two thirds of the way towards Kakariko, so you still got about a third of the ravine left to uh, pass through. Good God, it's highly it smells like home. We there yet? Yeah. We there yet? Not yet, bro. Huh. Right. Remember, if anyone asks, my name is Ozer. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. We named Rizzo. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Got it, Ozer. I think Rizzo wants to play pretend. <laughs> oh, well, my name's Rizzo. Great. That would make my life much easier, Bella <laughs> Rizzo. Thank you. No, it's just Rizzo. Yeah, just Rizzo. Do you know how to play pretend? <laughs> I didn't have Yeah, we lunch. do what Bella says, and that's playing pretend. <laughs> I didn't have that luxury growing up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready to mm-hmm. head in? Let's roll. Okay. Okay. Crimson cranberries roll. rolled out. Oh, you roll in. The rest of the oh, way. Crimson cranberries roll out, literally. Yeah. <laughs> you walk the rest of the way to Kakariko Village. I'm pointing and... out different plants to Bella and looking for ingredients for Brody. You got my back, right? Always, bro. Thanks. As you round the last corner of the ravine, you're greeted by a calm, quiet town. Kakariko Village yeah. is a small village nested between the cliffs of northern Nekluda. It's invisible from every direction besides flying high above it in the sky. It looks as if it still lives in the past, the old architecture with an ancient air. Rizzo, it's been years since you saw these houses, these cliffs. How do you feel seeing seeing your home again? Uh, I cast Vanish. Alright, uh, um, I'm Rizzo now. Uh, can you can you read me how that uh, how Vanish yes, works? Yes, so um, 
I'm just invisible until I sign out to be. Is there any like perception? Like, is there like a counter to that? Yeah, there. Uh, I, you know, <clears throat> actually, I'm not certain of the. I guess it's mostly for combat. Uh, but yeah. I just I use it for role play for fun. Oh yeah, I'm not sure. I assume uh, some of these perceptions, you can, but uh, they're equivalent of being seen blind, so they would have probably roll perception and like 2d6 and another 2d6. Maybe take the worst of 2d6s. I like disadvantage. Yeah, I'm just kind of okay. Talking to talk. Well, you're not really gonna have anybody that's gonna be like actively trying to like. <laughs> there might be somebody invisible here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I feel okay. So my feeling is that I am um, somewhat. Embarrassed that I left home, mm-hmm. uh, and also that these people mean a lot to me. I have a hard time showing that affection. Yeah, of course. Uh, so I'd rather just be invisible. That's understandable. Yeah. All right. Where'd you go, bro? Um, right here. So, um, using Sheikah magic. <laughs> uh, you guys begin. Um, so, can Kakar- you see my footsteps? Kakariko Village has a pathway that kind of like winds around the corner and then ends in this like main area. With a couple branches that go off to some different houses. The houses are uh, quite well built. They're very sturdy. Um, they they look old, but like really strong. And uh, they've been there for a long time. And they're a good size. They're, they're, the people here live well. Mm-hmm. Um, they they've had many 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 generations to build up these these uh, structures, these farms. Um, it really is a small village. Not a lot of people live here. Um, most of the people, the Sheikah, spend their time mm-hmm. here. Um, a few of them tend to venture out to explore, but uh, Kakariko really is, because of both geography and by choice, very secluded from the world outside. Um, the majority of people who encounter Shika encounter them in uh, the proximity, close proximity of Hyrule Castle, mm-hmm. because the Shika's job is to protect the royal family and serve the goddess Hylia. So. Uh, for for everyone here, I mean, Brody, you've never been. Um, uh, Bella, Oakley, this is your first time here as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and really, Rizzo was one of the first Sheikah that all of you had ever met. Um, the Sheikah people are are characterized by um, their white hair. That is uh, one thing specifically that. that um, <laughs> <laughs> Immersion. I, I dyed my hair. Yeah, Rizzo uh, dyes his hair. Uh, oh yeah, um, we did say that. Yeah, we we, we made we made that canon. Oh yeah, Rizzo we did make that canon. There's a little bit peeking out right there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, when I turned 22. <laughs> <laughs> I'm invisible. Um, but like yeah, they're, they're known by their their uh, their white hair. Um, they're also known uh, by their garb. Um, a lot of them wear clothes very similar to Rizzo's, but others will wear uh, clothes that are a little bit more um, pedestrian. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're uh, white scarves. They almost always have somewhere on their body the Eye of Truth mm-hmm. emblazoned somewhere to show their servitude to the Sheikah and the goddess. Um, Not all of them wear it, wear it as well as I do, but I guess yeah! <laughs> this is true. Um, so you make your way down the path, um, and one of the first houses that you see, uh, you see a, a, a trans man standing outside of the home picking some apples from a small tree out front. He's covered in dirt, and he has a shock, like a poof of white hair on the top of his head, scattered all over the place. Um, he has a well-worn apron that he uses to wipe some sweat from his brow, and in the process, smudging his face with dirt. Um, mm-hmm. He lets out a sigh of contentment and then he notices the four of you walking down the path and uh and uh three of us well, has, yeah. or excuse me the, the three of you, um uh walking down the path and he um starts a little bit oh oh we we weren't expecting any visitors hi well hi there he puts down his uh his basket of apples what how's it I, going what bro? can i do for you oh those look yummy would you like one and he hands you one it's a beautiful it's yes bright. please it's delicious. Not as good as Mari's apples, but pretty close. Yeah. That's really good, thanks. No problem. What brings you here? Well, um, we're looking for um Druin. Druin. Because I'm the chosen one. Yeah, we're with our friend Rizzo. I mean um Ozo so. <laughs> My name's Rizzo. <laughs> um I'm Rizzo. Good to Papa, press me. Yep, it's a little Rizzo. Uh, <laughs> shoot, I think I blew that, bro. Is there, uh, they're not like a deception. What's the what's the uh, the equivalent of a deception? I think it's guile. Guile is it guile? Yeah, make a guile roll for me, Brody. Oh. Uh, 
It's a hydro bomb. That's gonna be a nine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you? Did you? Say, no, no, it must have been my imagination. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so he definitely caught on a little bit, but not enough to, like, pursue it further, so. Okay. Um. Do you what? know where Druin is? Oh, well, you know, we don't see her much around these parts. She's, uh, quite, uh, solitary. Um, she, t she usually, uh, is holed up in the chieftain's house down at the bottom of the village, but, um, she's out right now, if I am remembering correctly. Again, we don't see her very often. Where is she? If she's out. I'm not sure. She really doesn't disclose that information to us. The chief is really <laughs> the only person that might know, and even then, she doesn't really find out too often where, uh, where Jeruen is going. We should go see the chief. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Um, can I have another apple for the road? Oh, well, of course. I mean, to be honest, you look like you could use some rest. I... You know, I'm a bit of an empty nester. Um, so if you'd like, you can come in and have some have some lunch. I can <gasps> Yeah, I'm oh, hungry. That and Bella just immediately rocks? starts to go in. <laughs> um, well I'm sure we can find some, but I'm making my, my famous pumpkin soup. Ooh. With rocks? I'll find some just for you. Nice. I Bella like just to dip rocks charges into this home immediately. Just. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you head in. Um, I go last, and I leave. I like take a really long time going through the door so that it's open for a few seconds. Huh? <laughs> Are you all going in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So as they go in, wait for Oakley to go in. I was holding it for you. No, no, no. I'm, okay. I'm, I, you, well, you don't know where I'm at. I don't right? know where you're at, but I'm, I assume I'm, I've held it for you. <laughs> I'm not coming, so. Yeah, got it. I mean, it's, okay. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to, is uh, my dad heading in? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take a deep breath mm -hmm. and put my hand on your shoulder. Say, hey, hey, Dad. Oh, goddess! <laughs> yeah. Are you still invisible? No, I'm not invisible. You're not invisible. Here, Dad. I got my one of my scarves. Here. So he drops his basket. By the goddess. Yeah. Oh, my boy, my boy. He hugs you really, really tight. You're like a full like head taller than sure. him. Uh, reluctantly, um, like, but not really hug him. Yeah. Wow, and your house the, is so big. And he like Don't is, is so tight and squeezing you. He's missed you so so much. I miss you too, Dad. Um, he he like takes a step back, puts his hands on your face, and just like, look at you. Yeah. You've aged. You've <laughs> you look old. <laughs> you look old. You've grown up. I thought about writing, but he's never good at it. No, I understand. I've missed you. We've all missed you, but. You know, I understand that you needed to go. I don't hold it against you. I do wish you would have written us. Yeah. You know, I spend a lot of time alone nowadays. But uh, come inside, come inside. Sure. Is um, the Cora here? No, she's with your mother at the castle. Oh. It's just me. It's okay. Like I said to your uh, friends. Yeah, I'm uh, empty nester at the moment. What well, a mission from the goddess, as it was ordained to be. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, please come in. We'll, we'll talk more. Sure. Um, he hey, picks yeah. up and like puts his apples back in his basket. It's nice to see you. Huh? Well, he tears up a little bit. It's nice to see you too. Come on. Oh, come on. I like the music just. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, okay, you guys go inside. Um, he kind of like opens the door with his hip because he's got the basket of apples <laughs> in his hands. And mm -hmm. He sets it uh, on the counter, and you can tell that he just has like this just elation of being able to cook for people again because like he spends a lot of time home alone mm -hmm. um, because, uh, well, you know, he's setting his things on the on the counter. And he's kind of like talking to you as he's like starting to prepare. Um, you know, he's peeling some of the apples, making some slices, um, and uh, beginning his pumpkin soup. Um, hey, Bella. Hmm? Here. It's a little doll. I have. Ah! It's a little Sheikah doll. Has white hair. It's very frayed. It's been played with a lot. Mm -hmm. oh, what did we say the well doll's loved. name was? Yeah. What was huh? It, what was the doll's name? Rizzy. Rizzy. I think it was Rizzy. It yeah. Was Rizzy. <laughs> yeah. And if you're careful. Is this Rizzy? There's a little bit of Sheikah magic in there, so 
He's Watch out. Hard. Don't play too hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wing shika. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, uh, Zamalia. <laughs> Rizamalia. Yeah. Um, so, uh, come on, Rizzy, let's go play! And I'm just gonna go off and start to kind of play with her. Uh, your dad is like <clears> setting <throat> things up in the kitchen and he's kind of talking to you over his shoulder. Um, oh, uh, where are my manners? Uh, my name is Kokuza. I'm Rizzo's father. Uh, my wife, Risara, and my daughter, Kokora, mm-hmm. are currently at Hyrule Castle. I, I, but please, um, have a seat. I'll prepare dinner for him. Um, can you, I help? I'm a real good cook. Oh, well, I would love some help. Nobody ever offers to help. Oh, yeah. uh, they love Bravo. eating, but they never offer for help. And then he nudges hey, you. <laughs> I just want to tell you, Dad, that Brody took care of me when I first made it to Coron City. And he comes up to you, Brody, and, and he grabs your hands, like with both hands, puts your hand in his. Um, his hands are quite small compared to yours, <laughs> but, um, but he's still, the gesture means the same thing. Um, and he says, thank you for taking care of my son. Of course. I He's took care of him, too. My bro. Yeah. Yes. Thank you again. It means so much to know that he was in good hands. And he gives you a little pat on the shoulder. It's interesting. Um, now, please, come help me. Um, Let's do this. Don't cook yet. Yeah, so the two of you are um, just kind of like making dinner together. Um... So, uh, and, uh, Kokuza is kind of just, like, talking to you guys as you, or as, as this is happening. Um, and he, uh, is giving you guys some context, uh, the three of you, uh, so that you know, um, you know, because obviously you know about your family, but, mm-hmm. um, Kokuza is just kind of explaining why, uh, he's home alone. Um, he says, my wife and daughter, uh, work as the royal protectors of the queen and the prince. Yeah. yeah. Um. Rizzo's mom is the best Sheikah warrior in the whole clan. Come on, Dad, She was really? hand-chosen by the late king to protect his majesty and his family, and his sibling is training to be one or to one day take their mother's place. That's oh, really cool. cool. Yeah, whatever. I didn't know you were such cool stuff, little bro. Yeah. You probably miss your mommy, though. Sure. Um, I like this doll. Kokuza kind of notices your your tone a little bit. Mm-hmm. Gives you a little bit of like a side eye. Like he understands why you feel this way, but he's also kind of like we have company. <laughs> <laughs> you little <laughs> shyster. <laughs> Fine. Um, he notices your your That's your funny. little your little uh, teenage side, <laughs> um, but then. Um, uh, God, you dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God is. <laughs> God is. Yeah. Um, uh, the two of you finish lunch um, and you start prepping the table. Um, what are you two up to while while lunch is being? <laughs> 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 That's funny. That's perfect. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm just standing in a sunbeam by a window. Sort of synthesizing. Just taking it in. Yep. <laughs> as close to nature as I can be. <laughs> Um, okay, so uh, the, the table is set. Um, you guys go ahead and sit down. Um, start digging into your pumpkin soup. Um, he spe- uh, you guys specifically, while you were preparing, went out in front and found some rocks for you. What? You good? Oh, yeah. I'm doing, I'm doing the Sheikah set. And you're cross legged. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, uh, the tables that the Chica sit at are, like, uh, floor-level tables. Yeah. Um, so you guys have to, like, sit cross-legged or sit on your knees, however you need to sit. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are, it's you are pretty right. much. It's, high, it's, it's uh, Oakley height. I really miss this. You should put this as part of your recipe. When you at the restaurant. I can make this happen any time for you, bro. Thanks a lot, bro. Oh, please, And I dip please. a rock. Um, uh, he... <laughs> Kokuza goes to a drawer and pulls out a piece of paper... Uh, off of a stack of obviously his pumpkin soup recipes because everyone asks him for his pumpkin soup recipes. Nice. Oh, that's funny. Um, so he's ha- he has like copies that he's made so they can give them out because he uh, he's like please absolutely share the recipe. So he gives you uh, you have a new recipe. You have the pumpkin soup. The new recipe. Yeah. Pumpkin soup recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we can talk a little later about what that will be, um, but it is made out of um, uh, the fortified pumpkins. Uh, oh, they're yeah. the specialty of yeah. Kakariko, so they can give you a little bit of a, a, a defense buff nice. um, for your meal. There's some pumpkins um, in the um, Mr. Rogers field over there. We can take some. <laughs> <Mr. Rogers. laughs> 
Is, <laughs> is she a friendly neighbor? <laughs> <laughs> ah, the friendliest. Um, uh, so yeah, you're sitting down, you're enjoying some, it, it's delicious. It's, it's a really, really good uh, bowl of soup. Like, he, he wasn't lying when he said it was his, uh, his famous uh, pumpkin soup. Um, I can have a warm soup, huh? <laughs> uh oh. Well, we have some extra beds upstairs if you want to take a nap, get some rest. I mean, Rizzo, you look like you've been through something. Yeah, we just fought a stone talisman. Right I won! Was that what was blocking the path? Sure was. Yeah. Oh, wow. Huh? We took Hi. care of it as a team. Yeah, you really have grown up Georgia. since you've left. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. After all that cooking and all that good soup, I could use a nap. <laughs> <laughs> well, please. My home is your home. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll grab um, I'll grab Bella and take her to like my, what there's I, some stairs sure, um, take it's, her it's and... a loft it's okay. not like an enclosed room so it's like you go up the stairs and there's like an open loft with um, uh, uh, there are um, three beds up there there's um, a larger bed that is your parents bed mm-hmm. and then there was your old bed and your, your uh, sister's bed I'll put in my old bed then okay good night Rizzo Nothing is nice here, home. Uh-huh. Just throw her off the bed. No. <laughs> Get out of here. It's actually no, my I, bed. I know, it's all I know. I know. I know. Yeah. I'm ruining the moment. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, so Bella's asleep. Um, are you three going to do anything before you, you take your rest? Long rest. Long rest. Long rest. Long rest. Your snap time. <laughs> all right. I'm just going to go cross the leg up against the wall. Okay. Um, uh... Uh, Kokuza comes back over to you real quick before you fall asleep. Puts a hand on your shoulder. Mm-hmm. He says, I'm really, really happy to have you home, even if it's only for a little while. Yeah, I'll have to leave some. I did. Yeah. You know, it's highly, uh, My destiny is here. So, Not here with the... Is everyone else asleep? I was gonna just make sure that I went to the same room as her. Okay. Are you gonna sleep in um, the same bed, or are you gonna sleep in? Um, the, so it's like I have a full bed. Parents' here. bed, um, and then uh, siblings' bed across from each other. Um, I'll just post up where I could see her. Okay. Um, you can see her fine with the siblings' bed. There's no walls in the room. It's all uh, an open uh, mm-hmm. room, um, open loft. Um, we'll talk with the chief tomorrow. Of course. Yeah. Well, tonight. Whatever. Um, and then uh, Kukuza sits next to you and um, kind of puts puts an arm around your shoulder. It's he's uh, up a little bit because you're, you're, you're taller than him. Uh, Kukuza is fairly short. Mm-hmm. Um, he's short king. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, he pulls you close. Mm-hmm. And and he's he says, you know, I know things didn't go very well with your mother last time you were here. Mm-hmm. But I need you to know that she loves you she struggles with expressing her emotions. Trust me, I know. How do I get that from you? Well, you're a lot more like her than you think. Yeah. And I think that's why you two butt heads so much. That's true. Well, I... Good night, son. I'm leaning my shoulder up against... Uh, I'm leaning my head up against his shoulder. And it just out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just leaves his arm around you and you know, he doesn't really sleep. He just enjoys the company. He's just really, really happy to be with you, and he gives you a little kiss on the forehead. Aww. Uh And then you go to sleep. Um, a rest passes. Um, you know, I'll give you guys, like, for the sake of continuity, I'll give you all of your health back, but it's not... Um, it's, it's The sun is starting, like, beginning to, to set. Okay. Um, so it's like a nice, like, it's golden hour. It's beautiful. Mm. All the rich uh, reds of Shika Village, um, <clears throat> or, or of Kakariko Village, uh, are just radiant uh, in the sun as you start to <laughs> rise from your sleep. <laughs> um, you wake up and you, up. your father had gotten up a while ago yeah, and yeah, left yeah. you, left ah. you sleeping. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Brody, where did you go to bed? I rolled up in the corner in a ball. <laughs> okay. I was just curious. Downstairs. Cool. Uh, you two waking up? No. Come on. Uh, let's go. Chop, chop. Uh, no. Yeah, chase and see. No. Okay. 
Uh, Kokuzo yeah. is not in the house. I'll do what my oh, okay. grandma would do when I wouldn't get out of bed, and I'll just drip water on your forehead. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm weak! I'm not weak! And you, like, magically summon some water to yep, drip. Yep, just a little slow, <laughs> fast. I love that. <laughs> I'm weak! Come on. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna continues. make some uh, shika and tea for everybody before we leave. Ooh. All right. Watch. <laughs> it tastes, uh, it's yeah. um, kind of bitter, but like in a good way. It's bitter, it's, right? it's got a nice flavor to it. In a good way. You yeah. want some honey? Yeah. This guy. Uh, you grab some coarser bee honey? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. There you go. It'll be sweet. You sque- fresh squeeze yeah. right out of the bee. <laughs> uh, to the Crimson Crusaders. Crimson Cram. Crimson Cranberries. <laughs> Crimson Cranberries. Crimson Cranberries. Just remember the. the these. Oh yeah, so that's, that's why true, we yeah, came yeah. up with the name. There you go. Come on, let's go talk to the chief. Hey, thanks everyone. Uh-huh. I thought this would be horribly awkward and I wanted to run away, but That was all you. You're the one who came in. No. You got this, bro. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro and bro. Huh? Let's go. I feel better. Good. Right. Couldn't have done it without you all. Well, we yeah. know that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do hold my own pretty well. Let's go. Very admirable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you uh, head now. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you come All outside. Right. Um, hey, I'm, I know. We'll talk later. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, Kakuza is kind of like wrapping up, like cleaning up his mess outside, mm-hmm. and, like putting his tools away and everything like that. And he he gives the the apple tree just a little pet. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. That's nice. Um, hey, Dad. Before we go to the chief, here for you. What is it? They're uh, apple seeds from Mount Doom. Mount, what are, what are Mount they called? Doom? Hot Mount, Mount No Village. <laughs> from Mount Doom. No, from uh, Goron, Goron City. Oh, from Goron Byron's. City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so the plants that would grow up there, I'm trying to think. Um, uh, you probably have some seeds from like some warm safflina. Um, it's like a, it's like a, a, a reed that has like these beautiful red flowers on it. Yeah. Anyway, I thought you like you know, put these some use. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Apples from <laughs> Mount Doom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice hey, you I have Sauron. <laughs> um, he goes, I, well, still got some daylight. I'm going to go ahead and plant these now. Okay. Good luck with the chief. Sure. Thanks, Dad. Sorry. I love you. I love you too. Listen, if you... If the corn comes back, let him know. That uh, I'd like to see her. Of course. Yeah. That's something for her too. <laughs> she under, ever had apples her? from Mount <laughs> Castle. Yeah, she'll be there. Yeah, I'll see. So her. will your mother. Sure. Yeah. She would want to see you too. Oh. Yeah, maybe I'll swing by. He he kind of puts the seats in a satchel and then he he grabs your hand. I know. It's hard, but promise me. You'll at least see her. For me. If it doesn't go well, you don't have to do it again. Just please. Okay. She uh, does miss Yeah, me. yeah, I promise. Okay. She goes to break the promises. Right, Dad? Yes, son. All right, now go get him. <laughs> <laughs> he gets his slap on the shoulder. Bye, Mr. Rizzo. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Rizzo's dad, looking bluey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, everyone. It was wonderful Bye. meeting all of you. I hope to give you some soup once more uh, before you head out. Um, thank you for visiting. It was nice to have some company. Uh, and then he turns around and he goes back to uh, what he was what he was doing. All right, come on, up the hill to the right. And yeah. I'll lead the way. Down the hill to the right. <laughs> Down the hill to the left. <laughs> Down the hill to the left. <laughs> It's been, it's been a, a while. while. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, so you head in the direction of the chief's uh, hut. It, I use the word hut uh, mainly because that's just kind of like the vibe it gives, but it is very large. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It is beautiful. Uh, large pieces of uh, curved wood jutting out in these beautiful different angles. Um, it looks as if it's like stacked toothpicks like a giant set of stacked toothpicks like almost as if you could just like push it it would fall over but it looks you know it's deceptively sturdy um a beautiful thatch roof reaches up 
high up into the air. Um, and it's raised. Uh, there are these long steps, the wooden steps that go up to uh, the main entrance. In front, there is a little um, uh, an archway uh, with the same like kind of like curved wood patterns. Um, and there is some Sheikah writing across the, the top um, uh, that says uh, uh, to serve the goddess Hylia. Um, well, um, see that writing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It says you have to be this tall to enter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bella. <laughs> uh, and you too. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm gonna like climb on Oakley's back. I'm oh, fine! That works. Oh. That works. <laughs> <laughs> um, athletics. <laughs> What's that? She said, sorry, I have to be back. <laughs> Oh boy. Six. Lean tower. <laughs> Lean tower. Uh, you just flatten, um, and Bella's just like <laughs> sitting on top. <laughs> I'm hot um, enough now. <laughs> you flatten, Bella's butt is right on your face. Um, <laughs> <laughs> What's that? She said, sorry, serve the goddess. What? Um, uh, to serve the goddess Hylia. Yeah, to serve the goddess Hylia. Uh, and to the left of the um, of the archway, there are these uh, frog statues, and they have um, on their chests they have the Eye of Truth, mm. the symbol of the Sheikah. Um, in front of the uh, statues, there are three of them. They're um, little bowls uh, that are used to give offerings to the goddess. Come on, everybody, need something? Uh, okay. An offering. To- this is one of my favorite rugs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. How about you two? Uh, I would assume that we had been collecting like little seeds and bits yeah. and stuff from the travels. So yeah, maybe one like a flower, something just something from home, that like means something to you yeah. to show your devotion. Great. Yeah, a little something from home then. And I'll, okay. I'll pick off a little mushroom from my little crown. All right. Um, and then uh, yeah, actually I, there were four. I said there were three. There were four. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, one for each. Uh. I have a little piece of paper, like piece of paper, papyrus, whatever. It has some um, sort of my Sheikan haikus. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, 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 I love that. Okay. Uh, you put it in there, and you hear a. Yeah! That's great. And then, and then a Korok comes out, and it's like, wait, Oakley, what are you doing? You here? found me. <laughs> you found me. You yeah. found me. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, you solved my riddle. Hi. Okay. I know this Korok. Do I know this Korok? Um, no, you don't. Oh, okay. Yeah, me neither. No, it's just a random Korok. Oh, okay. like, you just was chilling, waiting for somebody like, to put and... something on all four of them. Ah, uh, you. <laughs> Uh, and then he's he's like floating with his little uh, oh, yeah, little yeah, leaf yeah. propeller, and he goes, "Okay, bye." And then he goes, <laughs> "Hey, can we have your little, Can we have your little turn? <laughs> what you see? A Korok, a Korok seed, a Korok seed, yeah. It lands on your head. Okay. Oh, we're just giving them away. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. No respect for the job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Korok seed, that's nice. Um, well, this is a different Korok seed. Oh, than the that's a that special you have. one. No, no, okay, you great. have a the seed that you have is a special seed that is from the Deku tree. Yes. Okay. Um, these oh, seeds are seeds cool. that are uh, produced by the Koroks. Oh, okay. mass <laughs> produced. <laughs> Wait, except, except without an M. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, I can actually say the word. Well. <laughs> If we've learned anything from getting all the Korok seeds in Breath of the Wild, yeah, exactly. I think you're not that far off. Uh, but yeah. Uh, yeah, you get a Korok seed, okay. um, cool. and then and then the, the little Korok you just hear <laughs> <laughs> as it flies away into nice. the distance. Okay. That's fun. All right. Did you go all the way up the stairs? Oh, yeah. Are you knocking on? <laughs> oh yeah, I thought we were at the door. We were at the door. Sorry. No, no, the the um, statues are at the bottom. Oh of the okay, stairs. okay. Sorry, I wasn't clear on that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, uh, two um, uh, Sheikah uh, guards mm-hmm. open the doors from the inside. Okay. Um, after, you, or, well, first you hear a little, mm-hmm. and then they see um, that there are people there and they recognize you. And then you hear, and the little peepholes that they looked through close. They open the doors and they're standing at uh, attention with their spears. Um, and they give you a little nod. Hey. Hi. They're pretty stoic. They're, oh, you yeah, know, yeah. they're on duty. They, they are people you recognize, though. Okay. 
Hey, I, I, they're about your age. Hey, um, long time no see. Sure. It's been a while. Yeah. Hey, do you remember that we put all the chickens in the school and kind of like riled them up and they all kind of flew all cuckoo? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it was a good senior prank. It was a good time. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'm on duty. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm oh, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, you, you pass it between the, the two guards. Um, they shut the doors behind you and resume their posts, okay. standing at attention. Um, He's a good one. And you see uh, uh, a very old woman um, sitting cross-legged on a, on a, a cushion. Mm-hmm. At the center of the room, um, there is a uh, beautiful canvas behind her um, that depicts... Uh, something that you've heard tale of. Um, it's uh, it it's something that that uh, has passed down through the generations. That is called the imprisoning war. Hmm. Um, you wouldn't really remember a whole lot of it. It has become legend. It happened uh, about nine thousand years ago or so. It was a long time ago. Um, mm-hmm. And this. Not that old. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know how long Goron No, 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 he's not that old. Okay. Um, no, he if, if he was even close to that age, he'd be like the one of the Gorons with the crutches, oh, there, gotcha. like with the canes, mm-hmm. okay. um, all hunched over and like little tiny spindly legs. Okay. Um, you do like this. So. This canvas, this um, this tapestry, is one of the last uh, uh, depictions of this um, in remaining memory. Um, and it is a point of pride for the Sheikah to have protected it for this long. Um, and legend says that it was uh, painted by an ancient Sheikah um, in remembrance. But this was also painted uh, quite a bit after the Imprisoning War. So even this is not as old as the Imprisoning War itself. Um, so uh, you see this old woman sitting there. She's got this large, wide-brimmed um, hat with little eyes of truth. Mm-hmm. Hanging around mm-hmm. and jangling back and mm-hmm. forth, they're made of uh, they're made of steel. Um, and she looks up, and you hear the the eyes of truth clang a little bit. She goes, "Oh, oh. welcome back, Rizzo. What? We missed your troublemaking around here." <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here it is. I gave her. This is the raccoon statue I stole before I left. <laughs> oh, you can keep it. Okay. Well. Back in the park. <laughs> uh, she crosses her arms, but not in like a defensive way. She's, you know, she's just kind of, um, she's pretty good natured. Um, uh, uh, you remember her? Um, she remembers you, obviously. Um, she's very kind, pretty, fairly stoic, but um, but she has a good sense of humor. Um, she has been the chief for a long time. Um, uh, even a little before you were born. Um, so it's been quite a while um, that she's been in charge, but she started to get up there in age, um, starting to consider who she might pass the mantle down to. Um, but that decision is still a ways off. Um, Anderson? <laughs> 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 Druen has informed me of some of your adventures. Uh, she tells me that you must... Visit the tomb of Erosaka. Are you familiar with this task? Yeah. I forget where it is, though. Oh, well. You're just gonna go... There's a cliff. Jump to off. The, to the east of here. Okay. Or to the west of here. Uh, and there's a staircase uh, that winds itself back and forth. Up along the, uh, the, the cliff face. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, once you get there, you'll find your way. Okay. Um, is not here at the moment, unfortunately, but she will return by the time you come back from viewing the prophecy, I'm sure. She didn't tell me where she was off to, but I'm sure she's up to something important. Well, sages do what sages do. Ah, uh, yes, they do. And you knew I'd be back, didn't you? Oh, of course I did. <laughs> you can take a Sheikah out of Kakariko. <laughs> you can't take the Kakariko out of the Sheikah. <laughs> <laughs> she chuckles. <laughs> These are uh, my companions. We have our, our leader. Uh, Hi, Bella. Well, you look like a magnificent leader. Thank you. Hero girl. 
so I wear this crown. I'm Brody. It's nice to meet you. Uh, Not we're best very buds. often best we get to see a Goron in these parts. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just rolling through. <laughs> Love it. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, this is Oakley. Oh, yes, I am Oakley. And Darn. Korok as well. We don't see you very often around here either. There was actually, one right outside the door. Yeah, actually, if you just... <laughs> 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 the more things and the things... Uh, never mind. Um, she just kind of looks confused. But then she's like, Oh, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Shella. Chief, uh, anything we should prepare for when we get up there? Well, I can't really tell you, to be honest. None of us have been able to go in there, really, ever. The only person who's ever been able to go in there is Druin and Gabor, of course. Correct. And Did now, Bella. And now, Bella. Did you say we're going in there to view the prophecy? That is correct. Do you, do you know how one does that? Once Unfortunately, there? that is over my head. The guy's highly works in mysterious ways. That she does, my boy, that she does. I learned something. I pay attention to some of your classes. About 30% of them, I'll be honest. More like 20. <laughs> I was always late. She but gives you but, I had a good ex- but I had a good excuse. Oh, yes? Like setting cuckoos loose? And on fire, yes. Oh, this boy. <laughs> well, Don't tell Jermaine. Once you come back from reading the augury, mm-hmm. Druen will be here to talk to you about what you will do next. Okay. Everyone ready? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. It was wonderful Hat to meet lady. you. <laughs> I will see nice you. To meet yes. you. Oh, she she grabs like it's all the way out here, but she grabs it and tips it just a little bit. Um. She says, "I'll see you all soon." She's actually pretty cool. Go this. on. Bye. Oh, you're busy. Do things. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Gotta make our way back down then. Okay. okay. All right. We should get going before nightfall. Um, the guards open the door again, and then they give you another nod. Okay. Uh, and then they close the door. And you're um, down the stairs, the bottom of the stairs. She had such a big hat. I was like this big. Very <laughs> impressive. So cool. <laughs> you should get a hat like that too. I want a hat like oh, that. There's a general store. General, general store. store. <laughs> general <laughs> store. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't sell hats that big. Oh, okay, okay. Lame. Should we just get going to the... I think we should head down there. Okay. You know. Wait, to the store or to the... <laughs> no, the to the mountain to thing. To the tomb. Okay. To our mission. Tomb. Mission. A mission. Well, it turned out pretty good, actually. Chosen one. It's nice to be home. Good. Let's go. After you. Follow my lead. Uh, wait, not this way. It's that way. Come follow me over here. <laughs> All right, um, so you make your way over to, um, uh, there's, a, behind the chief's house, um, there is a lake. It's called Lantern Lake. Um, it's the, uh, it, it's up above the chief's house, and there are three waterfalls um, that sit behind the building. Actually, excuse me, two waterfalls uh, that cascade behind and give this wonderful frame of the chieftain's house. Um, adds to the, the beauty and the, the um uh, prestige, this home. Um, it's uh, there's a rickety stairway uh, that leads up to this lake. Um, that's off to the side. Uh, it's actually behind the, um, uh, not the general store. It's behind the uh, the, the, the like grocery, uh, like the farmer's uh, stall. Um, it, not a stall. It's a house. Um, so are you gonna climb the the stairway? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, Bella. You see those? Oh, sorry, I'll click on it. Nope, that was it. <laughs> Just watch your step. Oh. <laughs> you had one of those waterfalls. Uh-huh. One time, I swam across the lake. <gasps> Did you the lake? Three times. <laughs> it's, it's pretty exhausting. <laughs> it's okay, it's long gone. I think. Yeah. And then behind one of the waterfalls, guess what I found? No. A frog! <laughs> no. <laughs> A piece of heart. Um, oh, this cool there. <laughs> they say I walk away from him. <laughs> yeah. Are you having this conversation while you're walking? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, legends say if you find four pieces of heart, you feel vitalized. Did you keep it? Cool, bro. Uh, I did, did but it's, it's since then withered away. So. Wow. 
Your the, heart's withered, the withered away. away. No, it's a little flower. It's called a piece of heart. <laughs> okay. Frog is doing better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're good. All right. Uh, this conversation has lasted to the top of the stairs. <laughs> um. Uh, everybody, make a perception ball for me. No, it's not combat. <laughs> Thirteen. Six. Twelve. Thirteen. Twelve. Thirteen. Okay, uh, everybody but Brody. <laughs> um, what? <laughs> you notice some uh, markings on the ground. Um, you can't read them. Uh, the two of you definitely can't read them. Um, I want you, Rizzo, to give me a uh, civilization check. Say so, that. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh, surprisingly, that's a 12. Oh, that was incredible. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, so My uh, crit is a Triforce. I got you, though. Yes, you did. Thank you. You're uh, so, uh, you recognize this writing as Ancient Sheikah. Um, you are able to read it for the most part. Um, surprisingly, a lot of your school co- or schooling comes back to you more than you would have expected. Oh my god, between this and cursive, uh, I don't know which one's worse. <laughs> but, um, so you uh, manage to decipher it, and um, it says, uh, follow, and then the rest is faded. All right. You see this? A uh, wood? Mm-hmm. These markings on here. Yeah, it's drawing. Right. Oh, whoa. How'd you see those? I was, <laughs> I was just looking down as I walked. Well, I wasn't clear. <laughs> you see what this says? Mm-hmm. It says, this is right here. It says, Bella is a hero. Yeah, it does say that. <laughs> the ancients knew all along. Bella, I think you're like destined for greatness, yeah. bro. <laughs> and then below it, it says, follow, and that's all. Follow uh, me, obviously. Oh, follow me? No, follow me. Well, if Bella's the hero, then we should follow her. Yeah. Um, You see that there are some, uh, there's like a line with some arrows going and snaking around up the cliff. Oh, you see those lines, Bella? Mm-hmm. I think you need to follow them and we'll follow you. Yep. Let's go. I start to follow the lines. Marching. Okay. Uh, you make your way up. Just a second. Yeah. Careful, Bella. Don't fall. I would never. <laughs> 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 I've got you hit the rope of child security. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, you make your way up, um, and the tallest mountain behind Kakariko um, is like jutting up in front of you. You make your way up to the walk uh, to the rock wall, and on the sheer rock face, again an ancient shika, um, is some text. Uh, I want you to make another civilization check because this stuff is very <clears throat> faked. Uh, just Rizzo? Just Rizzo, because he's the only one that can read each. <laughs> they don't know anything. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Why didn't I study harder? Okay, eight. An eight? Okay. The, <laughs> all you're able to get out of it is heroes four, strings, light, prism stones, open, learn, fates. Okay. Do you get all that, right? <laughs> no, you haven't read it to me. No, I was mouthing it as our DM. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that was you yeah. heard the Rizzo said all of that to you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'd like you to look around a little bit. Um, you notice uh, there are four stones that look like um, they have been covered in, like, moss and grass. Um, mm-hmm. But peeking out, you can see something glittering just a little bit. There! I'm going to run over to it and try to dig into through the moss. Okay. Yeah, you manage to take the moss off of it, and you find a uh, a, a prism stone. Um, this stone has, like, this tint of, um, of, of a color. Um, it is... Give me a second. Did you catch what I said? Most of it. Okay. Can you repeat that to us? Four strings. <clears throat> Four strings. Light, prism, stone, open, fates. Oh, yes. wow. Great. Light. Oh, my God. Wow, you got that fast. Oh, oh, yeah. this um, one. Open fate. Open fates. Open fates. Um, okay. The stone, the 
prism stone that you saw mm. is uh, has a tint of, of scarlet. Red. Hey. Oh, thank you. Oh, Why no, it's sticky? in the ground. It's like oh, in, okay. in the ground itself. Red. Why is it sticky? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, there what about are... those stones, Brody? Can you identify them? Yeah. Uh, what kind of stones are there? There are four total. Um, nice. you, you recognize them as... Um, as uh, oh. crystals, they are they are uh, pure magic energy. You're not able to identify what kind, but you can tell that they have uh, some kind of. You haven't seen these stones before in person, but you've heard of them. Are all four red? No, I bet. Never mind. Go ahead. Are you gonna check the rest? Nope. Of them? Sorry. Meta, 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 meta. <laughs> okay, okay, so sure. four. Scrying, scrying, scrying. I've Checking never my notes. seen yeah. stones like that before. And you are a stone. <laughs> so, so the rest Stony. of them are still covered in moss. Stone connoisseur. <laughs> uh, the rest of them are still covered in moss. Would you like to examine them? I would like to look for a green one. Uh, you manage to make your way over to one of the stones. You wipe off the moss, and it has a uh, a faint uh, viridian tint. That's crazy that you oh, used that exact had, word. We each had a stone color at the very beginning, right? <laughs> yes, we sure did. Ah, Wait, what? The threads yeah. of fate. As if on you. Oh, oh my God, night. did you As if on just you, the, your way the through threads, this? I love it. Yeah. Uh, the threads that bind the four of you give you a slight tug. No. Oh. And, and oh. They, they shimmer coming from your chest. Whoa. Ah. Everyone go to your stones. Brody, I'm going to my stone. You were Scarlet. Who is a brother? I'm going stone. to the Scarlet Rizzo, Stone. Rizzo, you were Aubergine. <laughs> and Bella, you were Cerulean. Uh, Cerulean Aubergine is a, is a shade of purple. Yes. That makes so, sense. Green, purple. Like an eggplant. Wait, what color is Cerulean blue? Mm-hmm. Yes. Perfect. Nice job, Oakley. You, fig- you figured out the puzzle. <laughs> Yeah, okay. um, Scarlet was too specific of a red. You've got a good memory. <laughs> good job. Oh my gosh, I remember that. All right, so are you going to go to your uh, respective <laughs> stones? We've eaten too many rocks. Okay, so I'm going to the blue right, one. So. Yes. It's yes. really good. God. <laughs> um, so Lord, you go Lord to your Master. respective stones. Um, and uh, you're Yeah, blue's my favorite color. And all of a sudden you hear... <laughs> and these four stones rise. Up, <laughs> and they're about... A little taller than chest height for each of you, respectively. Oh, mm. <laughs> um, flat. <laughs> suddenly, the beam coming from your chest splits into uh, into different directions. I mean, each hitting each other's Whoa. crystal, bro. And then they, bro, and hone in to the center and a golden light starts to form. A small <coughs> orb. And then... Sorry. <coughs> yeah, jeez. <laughs> and it's bright, so bright you can barely see. Mm-hmm. Once your eyes adjust, you see a golden light hovering in the air, and it goes... <coughs> and sticks into the wall. Mm-hmm. And... <coughs> and slices a door. Very good Zelda sound effect. <laughs> um, nice. Right on the text, it slices the text in half, and then a door creaks open, and all you see is darkness. Huh. Oh my god. I used to come up here all the time and eat herbs, and now, <laughs> look at this. I think we should go in there. Do you wear the green one? Yeah. Bella, I know you're the leader, yeah. but we want to keep you safe. Because without you, our mission won't won't be successful. So yeah. I think so. I think me and Riz Chicken. are gonna go first. Fire! Mm-hmm. I have a torch. Oh, you have a torch. That's Perfect. Right. Good. Good idea. Good idea. I'm I'm the, no, I'm the leader. And I run ahead. Uh, are you gonna enter? Yes, into the okay. dark. This is my leash. No way! I run after. <laughs> I, you better be careful. I, oh, I have her on a leash still. Oh, you still have her on a leash. Okay, good. Oh. No, I think Brody should be your bodyguard. All heroes have bodyguards. All right. Uh, let him go first. You with us because you are so brave and strong. You <laughs> enter. You'd be afraid without me. I can't handle Careful. this without you. <laughs> hey, Brody, uh, you go first. Okay. Yeah, you, I got You this. enter the tomb of Erosacum. Whoa. 
And that's what we're going to call it for this episode. Yay! Oh, nice. That was awesome. Very good. Um, thank you so much for uh, for joining us. Please uh, smite that like button. Smite that like button. Comment. Subscribe. subscribe, please. Uh, Ring the notification bell. I are so thankful for all of you for hanging out with us. Um, mm-hmm. We want to thank Digital Castaway for our amazing intro. Uh, we want to thank Morgan for our amazing art. <sighs> we want to thank our uh, our uh, what is it? Uh, our tech god. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Credit um, as such. Credit as <laughs> such. Um, we also want to thank our producer Becca, um, and we want to thank Mom for the food. Uh, and uh, we want to thank all of you for for being so amazing and for the us. master. Yay! Thank you so much for being here. Uh, next time we will be venturing into the tomb of Erisakum. Ooh, I got goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, we'll see you next time. <laughs> bye bye. Oh boy, next one's a dungeon. Yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, should I cut that? No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs>